Hey guys, welcome back to another tutorial. Uh, today we'll be doing a tutorial on how to make an advanced selling system. Uh, here's what you'll need. You'll need seven increments of two. Uh, this is because we're working with a binary system. Uh, essentially, they, these are just powers of two. Uh, and these are going to be used as indication indicators of selling, I guess, if you want to put it that way. And you'll also need to allocate three stats uh, to display. It's optional, but I really recommend it. Firstly, we're starting out with resetting two of the temporary stats. We'll be using dummy money and um, items sold. These will be used at the end of each cell to display um, how much they sold slash how much they earned. Uh, resetting these at the start prevents any elder occasions we might get in with them not working or Hypixel bugging out because it does tend to do that. Uh, after that, you'll want to set up seven empty conditionals to accommodate for the seven different values of who we're going to be uh, adding. Essentially, we'll just have one for one, one for two, one for four, one for eight, one for 16, one for 32, and one for 64. So you'll start out with detecting if they have 64 because we're going top down. This is important, otherwise it won't work. Make sure to also set it to equal or less, or I mean equal or more. After that, we'll be removing the item, then we'll be incrementing the player's stat money first. Uh, basically, just do this whatever you wanna, want them to earn. If they are earning 2 per item, this is going to be 128. I'm selling the coal for uh, 2 bucks a piece, basically. Then you'll want to have dummy money as the exact same value. This is very important, otherwise you might as well just not make this. So you'll want to have dummy money be the exact same as money. And then nextly we'll have items sold. This is just the amount of items that you're selling. So this is 64. Yeah, and now you wanted it as six times over. So I'll be speeding up this footage over here a little bit and telling you a little about how the system works. So as we know, binary is a system that's usually used in computer calculation. But right here we're using it to detect where and how uh, how many items a player has, while also still keeping in mind that he might have more items. So what this system allows you to do is basically display the amount of items and very accurately um, calculate it. So yeah, uh, I'll probably put a little graph of how binary works up on the screen if I can find a good one, but n no guarantees. Um, we're almost here. The four times speed uh, indicator at the bottom is also kind of a loading bar. It's indicating for when the um, little time lapse is done, if you will. And we're just about there. Here we go. Alright, back to the tutorial. Here you'll see me checking the items in the chest to do a little test, but there we go. So now I'll just be showing you guys that it does actually sell it. Um, you can check the money on the right side. If I click this, all the items perfectly disappear, and my money goes up. But now we'll also want to be displaying this. And another thought you might have is why is that not updating? Holograms just tend to do that. You'll see me checking it here too if I got it right, but I did, so that's just Hypixel being a bit silly. We'll add a conditional uh, to see if the player sold any items. So we're checking if items sold is more than one. So basically equal or greater than one. Uh, and if this is true, we're going to be displaying to them how many they sold and how much they earned. Uh, essentially, you can make this however you want. I'm just adding a bit of fancy symbols over here to make it look nicer. So basically sold, then a signal to indicate green. Uh, the stat for items sold, coal. Um, this will basically show as the amount of coal sold. And then on the next line, we'll be displaying how much they earned off of that. Four, and then I'll make it yellow, stat dummy money which is our temporary money holder coins and there we are this just makes it look a bit nicer and less jarring to look at uh, we'll also want to be adding a message for if the player does not have uh, the amount of items and some sound effects of course i recommend or pick up because it sounds nice uh, over here we'll just say uh, no items to be sold and as sound, I like to do the anvil landing sound because it just sounds nice. Uh, I got it wrong here. I tried to go orb, but I realized that I actually want anvil land. And yeah, that should basically be it, guys. Um, as you see, when I don't have any items, it tells me no items to sell. 
and then I can grab any amount of items as long as it's under this, of course, but people have the ability to click more than once. Which, that's a little um, warning, by the way. Yeah, that, that does happen. It's Hypixel. Uh, sometimes the chat doesn't really catch up, but that's usually just once. So once a player has sold once, it's gonna look really nice afterwards. Uh, yeah, and back to the little warning I was telling you guys about. The max amount to sell is 127, as you can see, because that's the amount of, um, yeah, the power of two plus one we're doing. We're currently using the power of two uh, to the power, well, two to the power of six plus one of items. Uh, and that's basically because you can't really detect anything more than a stack of items. Uh, but yeah, that's going to be it for today, guys. Thank you for watching. Uh, yeah, I, I will see you guys probably again tomorrow. Uh, and check out the other videos that are on the screen right now. Okay, goodbye. Thank you for watching.